Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide. Now I know that we're all very excited for the release of Forza Horizon 4 but of course we still do have some more Forzathons to complete, probably a few more months worth uh, until the release of Horizon 5. So without further ado let's get stuck into this week's one. Now this week's one called Red Lorry Yellow Lorry, of course we've done it many times before, wants you to own and drive any truck to complete all of the challenges with and they're actually really really easy now first of all we're going to pick out a truck so as you can see i just filter my list now there's only three of them but i went for the volvo iron knight you can use whichever one you want i've got a couple of tunes for it the one we're using today is the s1 class one so the share code is 139442229 and that's available if you so choose to use it now the first challenge here just wants you to earn 10 trading paint skills. Now this is where you basically bump into another AI driver tar. Uh, not hard enough to sort of ruin your score but just gently enough to get the trading paint skill. Now to do this I recommend hopping into Horizon solo mode because there is more AI cars on the road when you do this compared to when you're online and then I'd recommend heading over to the motorway. You don't have to do this but there is a higher density of AI cars on the motorway. Now you don't have to be driving super super quick to get the trade and paint skill, you can be going 65 mile an hour or 165, it really doesn't make a difference. As long as you gently nudge into another car, you will see the trade and paint skill pop up. It's really really easy to get and you can probably get 10 of them in about 2 to 3 minutes to be honest, as long as you're not completely slamming into the AI cars. But as you can see here, just gently tapping into them and you will get your trade and paint skills. Now the next challenge just wants you to earn 10 wreckage skills which is very very easy uh, and a wreckage skill for those of you who don't know is just where you smash into destructible objects such as lampposts, benches, even bushes and shrubbery and some of the trees as well. So all I did is turn off the motorway straight away and just started running into things and as you can see the wreckage skills were popping up and I eventually ended over back at the Greendale airstrip. Now this is where I love to do most of my challenges and here is no different because there's tons of smashable objects fences and cones bins all sorts of things that you can drive into you know the road work signs whatever it is you can just smash into it and all you have to do is rack up 10 of the wreckage skills so it's super super easy and again this challenge won't take you very long at all maybe five minutes tops if that now the final challenge just wants you to win a road racing series event at the goliath circuit in your truck so for those of you who haven't unlocked it you have to be level 20 of the road racing series in order to unlock the goliath race but don't worry if you don't have it unlocked yet because you can if you use my share code use it for this sort of one time event now the Goliath race is located down at the bottom left hand side of the map and i have of course created a blueprint race for you guys to use so it's called 10 seconds and the share code is 148035226 and that's available for all of you guys to use and it's just a simple race where the AI go off the road and you finish literally in about 10 seconds if that is super super easy. Now the good thing about this challenge it didn't stipulate that you had to do a circuit race or a sprint race on here so it's just quicker and easier to do this instead of the full Goliath lap in a truck which would take a ridiculously long amount of time. Now hopefully this video did help you out but if you are struggling with any of the challenges just say so down below in the comments and of course I will help you out to the best of my ability. If not you can drop me a message on Xbox, my gamer tag is in the description. Apart from that folks, I want to wish you all the best, I hope you did enjoy this. If you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe as it massively helps me out uh, and if you did enjoy it and it did help you out dropping a like is also very helpful as well. But a thank you very very much, I want to wish you all the best, make sure you stay safe and take care.